the young and the restless spoilers. Jack Abbott sat alone in his dimly lit office at the Abbott Mansion, the weight of the world pressing heavily on his shoulders. The soft glow of the desk lamp cast long shadows, mirroring the doubts that had begun to creep into his mind. For weeks now, a nagging question had been gnawing at him, whose child is Kyle really? Diane Jenkins, Kyle's mother, had always been evasive whenever the topic arose, her eyes flickering with a hint of something unspoken. Jack had tried to dismiss his suspicions, chalking them up to stress or paranoia. But the more he observed Diane's behavior, the sidelong glances, the abrupt changes of subject, the more convinced he became that she was hiding something significant. With no one else to confide in, and feeling increasingly isolated, Jack decided to take matters into his own hands. He resolved to secretly conduct a DNA test to confirm whether Kyle was truly his son. Late one evening, under the pretense of needing a document from Kyle's room, Jack obtained a sample of his son's hair. He sent it off along with his own to a private laboratory, using an alias to avoid any leaks or misunderstandings. The days that followed were agonizing. Each ring of the phone, each delivery at the door, sent his heart racing. When the envelope finally arrived, Jack hesitated before opening it, his hands trembling. As he unfolded the paper and read the results, his world shattered. The words were clear and undeniable, probability of paternity, 0%. Jack sank into his chair, the room spinning around him. Memories flooded his mind, the first time he held Kyle as a baby, their fishing trips, the heart-to-heart -heart talks. It was inconceivable that the boy he had raised as his own for over 30 years was not his biological son. This wasn't the first time Jack had faced such a revelation. Years ago, he had experienced the same gut-wrenching disbelief upon learning that he was not the biological son of his mother, Dina Mergeron. That discovery had shaken him to his core, but he had managed to rebuild his identity and his relationships. But now, facing the possibility of losing his son in the same way, the pain was almost unbearable. Questions swirled in his mind. Who was Kyle's real father? Did Diane know all along? Had their entire relationship been built on a lie? Jack knew he needed answers, but confronting Diane without evidence would only lead to more evasion. He decided to approach her carefully, hoping to find the truth without causing further damage. The next evening, Jack invited Diane over to the mansion under the guise of discussing family matters. As they sat in the living room, the tension was palpable. Diane, Jack began cautiously, I've been thinking a lot about our past and about Kyle. There are some things I need to understand. Diane shifted uncomfortably. What do you mean, Jack? Is something bothering you? He looked directly into her eyes. I can't shake the feeling that there's something you're not telling me about Kyle's paternity. Her gaze faltered. Jack, we've been over this. Kyle is your son. Is he? Jack pressed, pulling the DNA test results from his pocket and placing them on the coffee table. Because this says otherwise. Diane's face went pale. She stared at the document, her eyes wide with shock. You. You had a DNA test done? I had to know the truth, Jack replied firmly. Why didn't you tell me? Tears welled up in her eyes. I was scared, Jack. I didn't know how to tell you. I thought. I thought it wouldn't matter. Wouldn't matter? Jack echoed incredulously. You let me believe he was my son for over 30 years. I didn't want to lose you, she whispered. You were the best thing that ever happened to me. To us. Jack stood up, running a hand through his hair in frustration. Who is his real father? Diane hesitated, then finally admitted, it's Victor Newman. Jack felt as though the air had been knocked out of him. Victor Newman, his longtime rival and nemesis. The man who had been a thorn in his side both personally and professionally for decades. The revelation was almost too much to bear. You expect me to believe that you had a child with Victor and kept it from both of us? Jack asked, his voice tinged with disbelief and anger. Diane nodded slowly. It was a complicated time. I was involved with both of you. When I found out I was pregnant, I chose to believe he was yours. It was easier that way. Easier for whom? 
Jack demanded. Certainly not for Kyle or for me. You robbed us of the truth. I'm sorry, she pleaded. I never meant to hurt you. Jack turned away, his thoughts racing. The implications of this revelation were staggering. Not only had he been deceived about his own son, but now Victor Newman was unwittingly part of this twisted family saga. Does Kyle know? he asked suddenly. No, Diane replied. I couldn't bring myself to tell him.